Hey dudes, it is I, Scott, reviewing Bill and Ted Face the Music, starring Keanu Reeves, Alex Winter, Chris, Kristen Shaw, Samara Reeving, Bridget Lundy Payne, and William Sadler, directed by Dean Parasot. Now, I have watched the movie twice before I get into the review, and here's why. Because apparently, this one has a lot going on. So, what do I think of it? Let's get into it. The Wild Stallions are broken up after one miss opportunity of music after another, and Bill and Ted, returned by Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves, are celebrating the wedding of their high school crush, Missy, and Ted's brother, Deacon. And wasn't she married to Bill's father and Ted's father... Because at that point, their relationship with Missy has got to end at this point. And at the wedding, they sing an embarrassing song with the longest title ever. And Ted's father is still not believing that they went back in time. Meanwhile, their wives, the babes, have kids of their own. Billy, played by Bridget Lundy Payne, and Thea, played by Samara Weaving, are their daughters and unemployed like they are. And they act like their dads. And the funny thing is, Samara Weaving is Hugo Weaving's niece. And Keanu Reeves worked with Hugo in the Matrix trilogy. And now she's working with Keanu, the niece, I should say, Samara, in Bill and Ted 3. Their wives, Elizabeth and Joanna, want to go to couples therapy with Bill and Ted. And might lead into a future of, of a divorce. And I like this as a setup. As the plot is intriguing as for a comedy. Bill and Ted get home and realize they're washed up as a band until Kelly from the future and Rufus's daughter take Bill and Ted to the future to hear the song that will save reality and, and unite the world at 717 p.m. in an MP46 or else the world as we know it will end. They take a phone booth to two years in the future and encounter the future Bill and Ted as they run away from each other and learn they get divorced because they had nothing to say to stay with them and they go back to their to save their marriage and I'm again having a fun time with these characters and am having a much better time than, la than last time when it wasn't as fun as the first time but they have funny fun funny times. Kelly's mother sends a robot to kill Bill and Ted while they tell Elizabeth and Joanna they become the biggest losers ever and Billy and Thea go to the past to put together a band of, for their dads in London 1967 and they meet Jimi Hendrix. And he says no until they get go to New Orleans in 1922 meets Louis Armstrong who was requested by Jimi Hendrix. Meanwhile, Bill and Ted had five years into the future, and three years ago, Bill and Ted disguised and lying to the present, Bill and Ted, as they realize they're in Dave Grohl's house, and Deacon, Ted's father, and the SWAT team arrive, and so does the robot sent to kill them, as he shoots Ted's father and sends him to hell. And Jimi Hendrix finally agreed to be in the band with Louis Armstrong. And I love they, how they portrayed the celebrities because it's funny in the most clever way. For example, go back and get, they go back and get Mozart from Vienna in 1782 by playing music over his music, not in a heckling kind of way, but... Put the two sounds together, and they worked great. This movie works just as good as the first Bill and Ted film. Bill and Ted head ten years into the future, and they're in a prison in the future, and the robot comes in and saves the present Bill and Ted's lives, and briefly meet up with Elizabeth and Joanna, Billy and Thea, with the legend, go to China, 28,000 BCE, and North Africa, 11,000 500 BCE to get a flute player and a drummer and meanwhile other history people like Kid Cootie who's not in a 
history thing, um, appear are in the present, and the robot sends the famous players, Kelly, Billy, and Thea, to hell. And I like the background of hell with the dragons flying everywhere, and Bill and Ted visit 2087 selves in an old folks' home where they're looking in or they're laying in bed looking old and gives the present Bill and Ted of a chip of the song that can unite the world at 717 p.m. in the present meanwhile an older lady goes in the phone booth and takes off with it in it excuse me visiting the older them which was rather pretty funny and the robot comes in to kill them and they have a, the song and shoots them to hell as the robot is chicken meaning scared to shoot them both, which he does in the way. And Elizabeth and Joanna watch, and we learn the robot's name is Dennis Caleb McCoy, and they search for Billy and Thea and find Kelly and the girls with the iconic singer players and Ted's father in hell. And they talk in to the Grim Reaper, a.k.a. Death, returned by William Sadler, who was in the last film about the about the band and try to get out of hell and Billy and Thea talk some sense into death and gets their dads to apologize to him and they get out of hell and I like the production designing of and this movie is pretty funny in it at this point the robot did kind of annoy me to death the world gets worse as they arrive at an MP46 and Bill and Ted don't have the song until they realize it's up to Billy and Thea to play the song. And they get a truck and Elizabeth and Joanna reunite with Bill and Ted as the world is coming to an end. And Billy and Thea get the band to start playing at different times. And Bill and Ted with Elizabeth and Joanna go in the phone booth to give everyone an instrument to play the music and Bill and Ted saved the world by playing the music and sending every history figurine back to where they were and credits rolled to an after credits scene with older Bill and Ted rocking out one last time which is fun and quite a crack up. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 7.8 out of 10. Just as fun as the first film and funnier than the second film. I really liked the background of every single scene, and I had once again a fun, entertaining time with these characters, except for Dennis. I do like the actors in their roles, including the iconic legends of the past, and I recommend you guys check this movie out. Even though, yeah, it's got a lot going on, it's still a fun time at the movies. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for Bill and Ted, and until next time, party on, dudes!